This work uh, was originally made in China for an exhibition in a gallery in China in around 2004. And when I did it uh, at that point, there was a lot of reconstruction going on in Beijing. So in front of every street, along the streets, there were a lot of bricks piled on the sidewalk, which they would use to reconstruct the houses. And so I was interested in using this uh, imagery and this idea of the brick to make a little factory uh, in, the, in the exhibition space. I asked that the workers who made the bricks, that they stamp a, a little logo on the bricks, which uh, actually comes from a slogan during the 1968 uh, protests. And the, the actual slogan was Ne travaille jamais, which uh, translated into English uh, would be stop to work. And the idea, of course, was at that point, the kind of like rethinking the process of uh, how, you know, the workers are uh, actually, you know, the backbone of the society, but how they were being taken advantage of. Participation has always been an important part of uh, my work and what I do. In this uh, particular work, uh, the participation uh, has also an effect because uh, for everyone to take uh, one of the bricks with them home, uh, they will make a donation to a Italian foundation for workers' rights. And the foundation, of course, is, uh, is watching and making aware of the workers' rights in different places around the world, like in Italy, as well as in China and in Africa. So I think, uh, I hope that the work will also, through the participation, uh, that it would bring people also more this awareness. In the Giardini, there are probably around 200 uh, drawings, uh, small drawings, and they are done with pencil. These drawings are made from images from the newspaper uh, of uh, different protests and demonstrations that happen for me in the world that I see through, of course, the newspaper. So I started to collect the imagery. And then uh, at one point I realized that there were a lot of young artists around me in Thailand that were finishing school and that they were needing a work because they, there is no future in the art in Thailand. There's no support, there's no exhibitions. So I said to them, oh, maybe everyone could sit down and, and, and take these images and draw them as a kind of work to give them jobs, to give them something to do, which is somehow still related to what they are interested in, which is making art. And then at the same time, when the drawings are sold, they would, the money would come back to fund a foundation in Thailand which is called The Land. What am I looking for with art? I'm looking to make people free. I mean, you know, I think, I, I mean, people always say, yeah, why do you like art? You know, I, I mean, for me, it makes me free. Um, and it makes me free not to be the other things that everything else is. <laughs>